on up. Hey everybody, Lewis here. Arshack Barbecue and other things. So today, what I have for you is a stuffed pork loin recipe. And we're gonna do it up on the Rectech pellet grill. So let's get out in the uh, R-Shack testing facility and get the Rectech up at the temp. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna do up this uh, pork loin stuff in it style. Stay tuned. Okay, for this cook, uh, I'm going to be following a recipe to show you a picture of it uh, that I got offline. We'll see how close I come out. Of course, I've added a couple things to it, and uh, we'll go over that in a bit. It's kind of cold out here. It's probably about 40 degrees today. I'm going to get the heater heated up, see how it does in the heating up the R-Shack testing facility. cranked all the way up there. Smoke is starting to come out of the uh, Rectech. We're going to get it uh, cooking probably 325 today and we'll put this uh, stuffed mushroom pork loin on when we will uh, put a probe in it, let it go till it hits 140, take it off, baste it, cut it up, see what it tastes like. Unfortunately, earlier this year, the doctors found four tumours in my throat. I've never seen my wife cry so much in all my life. The doctor said to me, Michael, we're sorry, but tomorrow's not guaranteed. You need to slow down. But that's one thing we all have in common, because no one's guaranteed. I think that life is not about the amount of days that you live on this earth, but it's about what you fit into those days that allows you to live a remarkable life. And I remember driving home and she called me, my mum, and she said, Mike, what did the doctor say? And I said to her, Mum, everything's going to be okay. Every one of us, every single day, is blessed with the air that we breathe, the opportunities that we have. And I challenge you every single day to get out of bed and do something that your future self will be proud of.
set it for 330. Okay, let it come up to temp. We're up to temp. Let's get this pork loin on. So I'm going to cook it on this rack. Set it in here. Got my probe here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come in parallel into the meat. I don't want to get down into those veggies and stuff. So the main thing is just kind of catching the meat and keeping it in. Something like that. Let it ride for a while. See how our heater's doing up here. <laughs> it's getting nice and warm in here. I could almost sleep in here tonight. It says it's up to 160. Let's just see what our quick read says. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. So we're up to 157 down here. 156. I think we're done. Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's get it off of there. Let's taste this. Smoked Gouda mushrooms, bacon, parsley, mm, pork line. It looks really good. <laughs> All I can say is wow. That is really really good mm. delicious wow what do you think is it good did it come out like the recipe picture i think so mm. sorry had to get one more bite in mm. 
All right. So you saw how I did that. I made the, uh, I fried up the bacon and then I uh, took the uh, mushrooms and put them in there. I chopped up the parsley, made some lemon zest, uh, the garlic. And then the part I added, I added the smoked Buddha to. I had two uh, pork loins in that package. And what I did is I just kind of butterflied and kind of opened them up. So then I seasoned them with uh, Pit Boss Hickory Bacon. And then I put uh, my bacon and parsley and mushroom garlic mix through it. Then I covered that with the shredded Gouda. And then I put the other half on top and I put toothpicks. I soaked those toothpicks for about a half hour so they wouldn't burn. Took those toothpicks and stuck them through there so it'd be in there. Uh, so it hold everything together and took them out there to the uh, Rectech pellet grill, put it on 330, let it get up to temp, put the pork loin on there, stuck a probe in it. Now the recipe says 140. Um, I actually let it go till it hit 160. And I mean, these are so moist, it's, it's delicious. Um, so somewhere right in between there, 140 to 160, you're probably pretty good. Uh, pork is you know, a little forgiving. 165 is fine. 170, once you start getting up over that, you know, that's when it really starts drying out. Um, then I uh, came back and made that, uh, had like two tablespoons of parsley left over, uh, and three tablespoons of olive oil, put that together, put the lemon zest in there, a little bit of salt, a little pepper, mixed it up and then layered it on top. And let me tell you, this is delicious. Um, yeah, oh, you, you got to try it. I think next time I'll probably do a little more Gouda cheese uh, on the bottom before I put the, the uh, mixture on it and then also on top of it. So it kind of just covers it with cheese because I like cheese. Um, yeah, real simple to do. I would say less than an hour on the old um, pellet grill probably more like 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and then I brought it in. Um, so it's a quick cook. So anyhow, as I always say, you can do this too. It's not that hard. Thank you for watching and grill on my friends. Until next time.